Hi there. Welcome to the second of two videos where we're looking at downloading and printing plans. Plans that we can use like these for building our model aeroplanes. Now in the first video we looked at downloading PDFs from places like AutoZone and Aerofred and how we can look at those plans on the computer using Adobe Acrobat Reader and checking that they are full size and by that I mean that essentially when we print them out on our home printers, our A4 printers or A3 printers we're going to get a plan that is the correct size for the model that we want to build and, we're going to, and we looked at printing them out as tiles, so small sections that we then stick together. Now in this video I want to take that one step further and I would strongly recommend that you watch that first video before this one because there's an sort of important foundation in that that will help in the understanding of what we're talking about in this video. Now in the first video I showed how to print out the plans so that you could stick them together just as I've done here. But Adobe Acrobat Reader doesn't let you print out just a small section. You have to print out the whole lot. It's quite a lot of paper, quite a lot of ink, when all you want is just a little piece for a, wi a, ri a wing rib template. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how we can crop the plans using a different software and print out just the section we want. If we, it's a wing or we want to just print out the tailplane area to build on. We don't want to print out all this because perhaps we've already done it once. So we'll look at that and we're also going to look at lessons that I've learned about glue, different glues to use, sticking these pages together so that we don't introduce errors and inaccuracies so we get nice plans that we can trust and we can build on top of. Now in the last video we had a look at how to print plans and measure to make sure that we'd got the plans at 100%, we could print them out at 100% and be sure that they were the size that we wanted. Now these are plans for the Super Brigadier which I downloaded from AutoZone. It's a future project that I'm hoping to, to build. And we're looking at it in the plan in Adobe Acrobat Reader. And as we showed in the previous video, we can use the tool menu up here to measure the wingspan or wing ribs to check we've got these at 100% and we're gonna print them at 100%. But one of the problems with Adobe Acrobat Reader is if we want to print just a section of the plan, like the wing here, or perhaps the fuselage, then we have to print out the plan as a whole. And if we go into File, Print, and we're printing this using the poster facility, again, covered in the previous video, we can see that to print this plan, we're going to need 24 sheets of A4 paper. Now we can change this by buying a, an A3 printer, which I've done, and that makes a big difference. If we just have a look at the properties, we can see if we go to A3 and click OK, then we're reducing the number of sheets we need by half, coming down to 12, we can see here. And I found this with the increased printing costs at commercial printers, I found getting an A3 printer is a really big help to me in printing out plans and bits of plans. So let's go back to um, A4. So we've gone into the properties and we're going to select A4. Now, if we want, as I said earlier, to print just a section of this, we don't want to have to print out the whole 24 sheets just for that section. And also, if we do decide to do that, as we go back into print, we can see that the wing is still going to be spread over, what, 10 sheets of paper? And there's quite a lot of sticking to do there to join all these sheets together. So we've got a better solution to this problem of printing just the section. And I'll show you how I get around that. Now, 
if we close this Adobe Acrobat Reader, we're going to use a different program. Now, this is my file here that I downloaded from Outerzone. And if we right click on that and we go down to open with, we go past Adobe Acrobat and we come down to PDF X. Now, this is a program I've downloaded and installed myself from the Internet. And I'll provide a link for this in the description below. It's a free program and it's really useful because it allows us to crop our original image. So reduce the area that we're looking at. And if we click on that PDFX, it will open our plan. It's just gone onto a, a different screen. Let me just drag that across. There we go. It will open the plan that we had originally from Outer Zone, but we're using this PDFX software. So what we want to do is we want to reduce the overall uh, or, or we want to crop this overall plan. So we've just got the wing or if it's the fuselage, we want to print just the fuselage. So what we go, do is we go into the page function. We select the plan by ticking this box. And then we can go into the crop page facility. And what we can do is we can go down, grab this little box down the bottom here, draw that up to just under the bottom of the wing. We can go to the side and we can draw that in. And now we've cropped this large overall plan to just a plan that contains the, uh, the wing. And we click done. And if we click on this, it'll show the whole plan. There we go. So now we've cropped that bigger plan to contain just the wing. So if we save that, go up into the save as up here, and we can save that as a copy wing, and we'll save that on the desktop. So if I now close this program, the uh, PDFX, we can take our new cropped version of the plan, which is just the wing. And if we right click on that, we come down to open with, and we can open that with Adobe Acrobat. And if I just bring this onto this screen, and we can also open our original plan. If I just enlarge those, so we have these on two separate tabs so we can compare. We've got the original plan. And if we click on this tab, we get the crop down version containing just the wing. Now, if we look at the whole plan and go to file, print, we can see we've got our 24 pages and the wing is actually split across 10 different pages. So we don't want that because it's a waste of paper and we can't using the Adobe Acrobat. We can't select just the bit we want. We have to print the whole plan. So much better. We use our cropped version and we go down file print. And we can see here that we can using A4 paper. Let me just check in properties. Yeah, A4 paper. We can now print just the section we want, and it's going to take us just five sheets of paper, rather than if we're going to do the whole plan where we force to print out the whole 24, and, um, and, and it's not particularly economical on that 24 because the wing bit we want was spread over, what, 10 sheets, I believe. So it's much better to do it like this. So cropping it first and then printing it. So now I'm going to print this, but I'm not going to do it using A4. I'm going to do it on my A3 printer. And then what we can do is we will have a look at how I found the best way to stick these sheets of paper together. You can see on A3 paper here, it's great. We're literally printing on just three sheets of paper. So there's very little sticking to do. So I'll print this and we will uh, we'll have a look at sticking it together.
Now I've got my three printouts for the wing which I'm going to stick together. Now when I first started sticking plans together I kind of experimented a little bit with different glues and how to get the best kind of finish really and this is the the big plan that we've just been looking at and we've got three sheets along the bottom and we've got one two three and a half so four going up and I stuck this together using a prick glue stick and I've used various other kind of water-based glues which I think Prit is probably a water-based type glue and one of the problems that you get with it is as soon as you put the glue on the paper starts to expand and it starts to wrinkle and it's kind of okay when you're doing two sheets you get three sheets it's not too bad but then when you get these longer sections and you're adding to it all of that little bit of expansion which doesn't seem to make much difference to start with by the time you're getting to the kind of the end of sticking this series of sheets together you start to get some errors which you feel a little bit uncomfortable with and I'm quite happy uh, kind of putting up with those errors if you like on a big plan like this that I'm just going to look at but I would be very careful about taking measurements that are across joins and that's why it's really nice when you print something like the wing you can do it on as little paper as possible as we've shown here with these uh, with these wing prints but I've recently started using a different type of glue I'm using a, a, a rubber cement and I'll, I'll show you the label in a minute and it's not water based and it doesn't cause the, um, the paper to expand and if you look on the internet there are other glues that are advertised as non wrinkle or um, you know good for sticking paper and that's what you want to choose because things like this and other things that I've tried more you know like I say water based things have always uh, wrinkled it a little bit and those kind of expansions generally add up to some quite big significant uh, sort of errors in the end which is a shame I mean you can use things like sellotape or uh, I've got some um, uh, magic tape here but to be honest it, it's, it never really does a good job particularly if you want to put it on the wall and look at it or, or even build on top of it I find sticking it with glue much better but anyway I will show you now how I glue these just using this rubber cement okay well first things first we've got our three sheets and we've got quite a lot of spare at the end here so let's just get rid of that to start with and there's two reasons for doing that one it just makes the sheets of paper a little bit easier to deal with because you haven't got all the excess flapping around but also it's quite useful to have these bits of paper to, as uh, as kind of shields if you like when we're doing the gluing so if I cut a couple of strips like this so now we have some strips of paper now We've got our tick marks, and I'm not going to go over tick marks in this video, it was covered in the, in, in the previous video, but we've got tick marks that we use to line up the, um, the, the, the images. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim off the white on here, or the, the, the kind of the blank piece, should I say, in line with the tick marks. So we're just going to cut along the tick marks just line that up there we go nice sharp scalpel so now we've cut that off and that is ready to the tick marks here to line up with the tick marks there and just make sure that that appears to go together nicely which it does so we're ready now to start gluing this and the way I do that is I get my strips of paper hold that put that up to the piece of paper we're going to glue 
I'm going to put my weight on. I'm going to take the paper off and now I'm going to get another piece of paper and I'm going to put that underneath and now I can quickly put on this glue. I said I was going to show you the label. Hopefully that's in focus. But there are other products around like this. But now I've got those pieces of paper there to protect the table, to protect the plan, and I can just put this on nice and quickly. Like I say, it's a rubber cement, and it smells a bit, but it's, it's not, a, not a bad smell. I quite like it. And it does start to dry quite quickly. And you can see I'm just slapping this on really, uh, really liberally. I am getting a little bit on the bench either end, but that doesn't really matter because it does clean off nicely. So we get rid of those and now we can just line up the tick marks, line up the, uh, the text, get the letters right and there we go. Now we have that stuck. And we just need to leave that for a minute. Now you can see there's no wrinkle in that. There's, it hasn't expanded. We haven't got any inaccuracies, hopefully, if we've done it right. And that, to me, is a great way of sticking these. Like I say, if we use something like a glue stick or PVA or something like that, it, or even you can get uh, water-based gums like they use in school. And I just find that uh, it doesn't really uh, stick it very well due to that expansion. You see that's just come off the bench now with, uh, with no problem. So now I can just do exactly the same to this end and we can get this whole plan stuck together. Well we now have our wing plan which we can use to start building the wing on and happy in the knowledge that we've printed out exactly what we wanted. We haven't printed out lots of sheet, wasted paper, wasted ink, and we've glued it together and we know we've got it nice and accurate without errors that have been introduced from the paper wrinkling and expanding. I, I found this a, a really useful technique uh, that, that we've talked about in this video, and I, and I hope you've seen this video um, after seeing the first one because it will make a lot more sense to you. If you haven't, please go back and see the first video because it really does set the foundation for using uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader for printing and checking. But it, it's great to be able to print these out, especially with increased printing costs when you go to commercial printers, where some printers can actually start charging quite a lot of money. And I find having plans like this on the wall really really useful and the amount of time I stand here staring at these converting them in my head from these two-dimensional drawings to that three-dimensional plane that we're going to build it's it, for me it's well worth having so anyway I hope you found it useful and interesting thanks very much for watching